Hey guys, I told you all that I would be back in the morning to talk more about the Rotten Tomatoes situation. So here I am. So I am uh, ready to talk about this and really just dig into this because, man, this is a crazy situation that's going on. And, uh, you know, they're starting to write the articles now. Hollywood Reporter, Screen Rant, The Guardian, all of these sites are starting to write the articles about this whole situation that's going on. And Rotten Tomatoes themselves made a post yesterday on their blog where they said, Hello, we're making some changes. Today we are excited to start our product update blog, which will allow us to keep you informed of changes and updates on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, they they basically just say just a bunch of BS in this article about why they changed it, and it's basically, basically their excuses that uh, people didn't understand how to use the system properly. We understand how to use the system properly, at least for the not want to see thing. I mean, it's pretty simple. If you don't want to see the movie, you click not interested. If you are if you want to see the movie, then you click interested. Pretty straightforward. But uh, apparently that was too confusing to people, so they decided to get rid of that. Um, the real reason, we all know what the real reason is, is because movies like Captain Marvel and Episode 9 of Star Wars are starting to get the not interested from fans. And a mass majority of these people are responding to the way that Disney is making these movies and they are not happy with the way that Disney is making these movies. So they're speaking out, they're voicing their opinions, and because of that we get called trolls. We are trolls because we are voicing our opinions and being honest and expressing ourselves that we don't want to see these movies because we are sick and tired of the identity politics that these companies are putting in our movies. It's pretty straightforward. I don't know what what's the big deal here. So, down here at the bottom, uh, they said, What do you think about this situation? And, of course, uh, they didn't have... I couldn't see what the actual numbers were until I clicked on it. So, I clicked on it. Man, yes, I clicked angry because I'm pissed about this whole thing. I am absolutely livid about this thing. And, uh, as you can see, this has, by far, the mass majority of the, the people, the users, um reaction is the angry one and then sad and surprise i guess can all kind of be in the same sort of sphere and then uh 55 people just love having their voices completely squashed by these sites and stuff that's that's great if you just want to become an npc then you are well on your way you are well on your way if you click this button right here 205 people thought this was funny 285 people upvoted this and thought that this was a great idea <sighs> okay so we have here an article from the hollywood reporter ron tomatoes remodels audience score system to combat online trolls because that's all that's all that people are if you have a an opposing opinion now you're just a troll you're just a troll if you uh, if you say something against these big corporations if you are not happy with the way that disney is making a movie you're a troll if you voice your opinion you're a troll if you say anything negative about a movie you're apparently a troll Rotten Tomatoes, you might as well just completely just remove your entire website because the whole purpose of your website is for people to be able to gauge what the audiences are feeling about movies, what critics are feeling about movies. And when you remove the ability for people to voice their opinions, even if it's a negative opinion, then you are completely just uprooting the whole reason that your website exists. I honestly, I hope that your website just crashes and burns because of this. And I hate saying that about websites, especially Rotten Tomatoes. I've been a fan of Rotten Tomatoes for years. I've I've used their system. I've loved to just... It's such a fun website where I get to see exactly what's happening in the movie business with diff different movies. And now we're at the point, because of this ridiculous move that they made, I... I hope that you guys suffer. I actually hope that you guys suffer because you are squelching opinions. You are squelching voices of individuals and fans of movies. And that is wrong on so many levels. And the more that you companies continue to try to silence our opinions when we don't like what you're giving us, the harder I'm going to fight back. I am not happy with this, and I and it's, it just makes me angry. It actually just makes me really, really angry. <laughs> so... We're doing it to more accurately and authentically represent the voice of fans while protecting our data and public forums from bad actors. So we're just a bunch of bad actors now. Whatever whatever that means. 
Rotten Tomatoes announced on Monday that the site will remodel its audience score system so trolls can no longer torpedo films before they have opened, such as Captain Marvel. We are disabling the comment function prior to a movie's release date, according to the post. Unfortunately, we have seen an uptick in non-constructive input. Non-constructive input! Sometimes bordering on trolling, which we believe is a disservice to our general readership. You guys are freaking morons! Seriously, non-constructive input. So if somebody says, hey, I don't want to see this movie because Brie Larson opened her big mouth and she said that she didn't want white, she didn't care about the opinions of white males and she doesn't want the overwhelming majority to be white men, then I'm not gonna go see your movie, Brie Larson. What's non-constructive about that? When people say things like, this was another example of what a lot of people were saying on Rotten Tomatoes about this. They were saying, hey, the trailers look boring. I'm not really interested in seeing this movie. What is non-constructive about that? What is borderline trolling about that? If someone has a negative opinion now, you're just a troll and it's non-constructive feedback. Most of the people that I saw that were giving feedback about this, that were saying that they weren't interested in seeing Captain Marvel, weren't even being hostile. They weren't being trolls. They were literally just saying, eh, I don't want to see this movie because such and such. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, man. Don't worry though, fans will still get to have their say once a movie is released. Audiences can leave a user rating in comments as they always have. Aww, that's so special. Thank you, Rotten Tomatoes. The only thing is that I can see, I can see how this, how this can go. I can see if, if Captain Marvel gets destroyed by the audiences, I can see them removing that from the system as well. I can absolutely, I can see it get to the point where only critics have a say about what what the movie's um, ratings are on Rotten Tomatoes. I can totally see that happening. This is ridiculous, man. This is, th these are crazy times. <laughs> The popular review aggregator site in general will also be revamped. You're not an aggregator site anymore if you are shutting off people from voicing their opinions. You're not an aggregate site. You're not. You are literally controlling the narrative. When you control the narrative, you are not an aggregate site. You will notice we are making some layout changes to the site. Yay! Through our research department, we have learned that our users would prefer a cleaner, less cluttered presentation of the tomato meter in audience score. Don't worry, the information and data are still there. Promise. <laughs> Promise. Oh my gosh, you guys are freaking making me so mad just listening to this cringy... <sighs> I'm seriously trying to control myself right now. This is bullshit. This, this is bullcrap. This is absolute bullcrap. Online trolls have attacked a number of films via the site's audience score system, including Black Panther, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, and most recently, Captain Marvel. Oh, and people aren't allowed to voice their opinions anymore because, because that could look bad on the film. So you all just have to love the film. Just love the film. Just just join the NPC army. Just just come to our side. Join join our NPC empire and and then you won't have to worry. You can just love the films and then and then you you won't, you don't even need expression anymore. You don't even need an individual opinions anymore. No. No, just just come. Just just be one of us. Just rip your brain out, put in our robotic little NPC brain and and then you'll be all set. Just, just, yeah, then, then you won't have to worry anymore. Then you won't be a troll anymore. You'll be a converted troll. You'll, you'll be an NPC. Anyway, ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. You know, the more that these corporations try to squelch individual expression and opinion, it's, it's not good. This is just going to get worse and worse if we don't keep on fighting, if we don't stand up for our rights as individuals, as fans of these movies. When you have an aggregate site that is supposed to be a place for people to voice their opinions and then you take that away from us, yeah, we're not going to be happy about that. And, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. It really will be because, man, these are crazy times that we're living in, people. These corporate giants are playing dirty. They're playing really dirty. I would not be surprised at all if Disney had a hand in this. I mean, look, look at this, see? All four of these movies are Disney movies. All four of these movies are Disney movies. 
Rotten Tomatoes, you are a Disney shill. You have exposed yourself as a Disney shill. And I, I used to defend you back in the day when when DC was getting bombarded with, uh, you know, the critics and all that stuff with, you know, Batman v Superman and Justice, well, I guess, yeah, Justice League and all these other films. They were getting destroyed by the critics and the DC fans were coming out and they were saying... Rotten Tomatoes is just a bunch of Disney shills. I was like, no, no, you don't, you don't understand how this, how this company works. Okay, it's just an aggregate site for people to voice their opinions, and you know, it's, it's about individuals, critics, and all that stuff. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you're making me eat my words on that. Seriously, you are a Disney shill company when you support Disney in this way, and you're protecting movies like captain marvel and you're you're allowing people to be negative about about the dc movies but then you turn right around and you are basically standing up for movies like captain marvel and episode 9 and all that crap yeah you're you're a disney show company dc fans were right they've been right this whole time and i just never saw it these are crazy times these are absolute crazy times and i am not well i'm <laughs> I'm interested to see what happens in the future, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole situation, and, uh, I'll talk to you very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye.